pretty good, right? Can you see us? Yeah. Oh, okay. Should we okay. explain what the yeah. situation is? Yeah, I told you the, the sound cut out right. on the entire recording, and I think the battery was out. So instead, we're going to talk about what we talked about. Okay, yeah, I like that. I, that's a nice shot. So did the audio go out? At, when did the audio go out? Right here. Oh, right here? Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, I grew up in Texas, and um, I was I started making videos when I was... 12 or 13 and not so much in an art context well obviously I was 12 or 13 and I really didn't know much about contemporary art at the time actually not till much later but I was making videos it was just what I did for fun and then about the time I um, got in my 20s and uh, started studying art I went to painting and did that for years and then at the same time I was still doing this same type of video that I had been doing which is narrative video I never I never incorporated it into my practice until I was 20 I don't know my mid 20s okay usually I just have an image in my head and I'll begin with that no, actually usually I'll write a song that's what I'll do is I'll write a song and then from a song I'll get an image and then from the image I'll have more of a complete scene. Usually it's fairly, it doesn't go many places, but then I'll just build on top of that and then work in a story. So it's very, um, kind of a process. I really don't write stories so much. I'll just take scripts that already exist, work with it, my interpretation of it, and just whatever comes out of it comes out of it. You say scripts over yeah. sister, other people's scripts? Or? No, no, not other people's scripts so much, but, um, well, kind of, not scripts that people have made. Ireland was, was kind of a cross between the Silicon Valley story and the dot com boom, and um, maybe even, maybe even Heaven's Gate. And then I'll take that and kind of pack it all together or just work with that. For the most part, my work is pretty direct and simple. Yeah. If it seems like it's a story about hope, then it's a story about hope, and that's where it's coming from. Yeah. And then if you if I look further into it, maybe I don't believe it, maybe not. But pretty much that's what it is. Yeah. I just I, I do kind of an A to B type of structure. I don't believe in the idea of a of a utopia, or I don't it, you know it can't be reached. It's impossible, and I don't even. My, I myself don't look for one. Just the motivation to look for one is sometimes good enough for happiness. That's a, a coral snake. Or not the coral snake, it was the fake coral snake. Because a coral snake is... It moves. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, the coral snake is red and black. No, red and yellow. And then the curl snake that's not poisonous, which is that one, is red and black. The curl okay. snake? Yeah. And, <clears throat> yeah, so, it's, it's red and yellow kill a fellow, red and black friend of Jack, is the way that you, <clears throat> if you're walking through the woods and you see a curl snake, and you want to pick it up, <laughs> then you have to remember that rhyme before you pick it up. I don't know what it's called, water, down, dwelling, or something like that. This is how they used to find water. But it's, it's, it's not specific to water, it finds anything. And you can do it with anything, I, like I could show it to you right now. I could do it with a couple of twigs also. Yeah. You just need to be L-shaped. Okay. And 
you could hide something and I can find it. Yeah, so if you want to hold this camera. Yeah. Oh, you have to hide something there. Uh, you can hide this uh -oh. snake if you want. And yeah. What I'll do is I'll turn around. Okay. And you can put it somewhere, okay? Yeah, I'm just going to get that on the camera. And you can throw it. Throw it as far as you, well, the way, I guess we have to find it, but. So, what you do, and I'm going to have to spin around, so you might have to spin around with me. Okay. I think the first one you did, the first line, yeah, pretty much went, went here, it. and it was maybe it was just the other one that didn't like the went second too one far. Went that way. Yeah, yeah, so it was kind of it's totally Performa TV is a project that I did for Performa. Um, they asked me to do a project, so I decided to be a facilitator and just set up a set, have it stream for 24 hours for a month for the duration of Performa, and. <coughs> They would send. They would do the invites, and people would come and do performances or whatever they wanted to do. Discussions. It was up to them. I didn't care. I had no say in it. And then halfway through, I just I, I, I realized that I was really um, putting a lot of work into this, and maybe I could have a fundraiser to raise money for me. I wasn't getting paid for this. You know, they're they're supplying what I you know the, the equipment and what I needed, but I wasn't getting you know paid for the labor which is a general exchange that needs to happen. So I set up a telethon by the midnight. People could call in and pledge, and then in return they would get a Jeremy Eiler sculpture or an Exedra CD. And the telethon also featured performances, like telethons do, but musical performances by Nick Zedra. George just agreed to a, a, a performance performance, and um, Tommy Hartung was answering phones. So that worked out. Our goal was $3,500. We ended up making them. Um, a thousand just in the last two minutes somebody I guess really felt bad for us because we hadn't reached a th after a while it just turned to a thousand dollar goal and somebody said at the last minute pledged ninety dollars and we made a thousand dollars was this where we started talking about hip-hop a lot of my music that I make now I think is very hip-hop derived it doesn't sound like it or maybe it does but um, it's pretty much, you know, it's, it's looped bass chords, and then it's everything but the rhythm. And then also I think the motivation of it is similar. Being able to leave in whatever way, somehow exist on another stratosphere, where it's just like rules don't apply to you, laws of physics don't apply to you, you can fly. And usually the way you get there is by means of the same force that is oppressed you. Say like if poverty is what it is, then you use capitalism, you know, just sell records. And then when you get there, you abuse capitalism. And along the way you abuse capitalism, but you use it and, and abuse it from like on the same end. And when I say abuse it, I mean by just being completely gratuitous with it, stacking Lexuses on top of each other. And as Jules T. Santana talks about football fields of platinum, when I make work, I actually consciously think about that too. It's just like, how, how do I, how does that, how does that affect me, that feeling that hip hop gives me, and what they're talking about? How do I make a story like that? Can I uh, give my MySpace for the Young Bass? Yeah. Okay, it's, it's, uh, it's the MySpace and the forward slash Young Bass, no, MySpace.com forward slash Young Bass, Y N G B A S S. And I just, we just put that up, so it's, it's the hip hop. When you hear the pop pop, don't run, don't run, don't run. Roll with the sound when you hear the pop pop, don't, don't, don't run. Roll with the sound when you hear the pop pop, don't run, don't run, don't run. Roll with the sound when you hear the pop pop, don't, don't, don't run. Roll with the sound when you hear the pop pop, don't run, don't run, don't run. Roll with the sound when you hear the pop pop. Did I talk about art enough?